Let's take a look at this problem, taken from the American Mathematics Competition AMC 12. It says, find the area of the region enclosed by the curve, x squared plus y squared equals the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is actually a um, pretty straightforward um, problem, but um, it arouses my interest because of the symmetry of the variables inside the equation. So, to find the area, before we find the area of the region enclosed by the curve, by this curve, I need to first um, figure out uh, how the curve actually looks like before I can find the area. So, to um, do algebra on this equation, I will first um, divide into cases, which is um, which arises because of the absolute values. Or I should not use circles, but I should use highlighters instead. So we have these kind of absolute values, and I'm going to divide the cases. The first case is that x and y are positive, okay, or zero, and then in this case. We have this, and so x squared minus x plus y squared minus y equals 0. And then I'm going to add a quarter on both sides. The reason that I'm doing this is to complete the square, which is that this is a square, and this is also a square, perfect square. So x minus a half whole squared plus y minus a half whole squared and that equals 1 over 2. So that means in this case we have a circle with center at a half a half and radius root 2 over 2. Now if I'm going to Put this onto a graph, Cartesian coordinate plane. For the case that x1 are both positive, and that means we are dealing with quadrant 1, so that's case 1. And then it's actually having these points at center, and then the radius is somehow roughly this. The reason that we have um, this shape, which is that because it's a square, it's a circle and um, we have center at half half and then the radius is root 2 over 2 and notice that this distance is a half and this is a half so the radius here is root 2 over 2 and we can do the same for the other side. So basically have uh, we actually have uh, some sort of um, a semicircle at quadrant 1. And the intersecting points, the meeting points, x-intercepts are 1, and z 1, 0 and 0, 1. So that's the first case. Now you may notice that I've actually already la even labeled the other three uh, centers because you may notice that for the other so-called cases, cases 2, 3, and 4, x is now less than 0, while y is still positive, then x squared plus y squared equals minus x plus y, and so we have this equation now. The radius is um, exactly the same, it's just the uh, center is uh, slightly different. It's because the center is now lo located at minus half and a half. So we can draw the second part. Again, a semicircle with x intercept minus 1 and y intercept to be 1. Now we can do the same thing for the other two cases as well. Similarly, we 
we can do the same for the other two parts. Finally, the radius of the four semicircles are all the same, equal to root 2 over 2. And we have centers as well. So now, um, we now have figured out what the region actually is. Now to find the area of this uh, region enclosed by this uh, curve, we can actually split the diagram into f a few parts. We can extract out the, the semicircles, which are all of the same radius. And the thing in, in the middle is actually a square because all the sides of this quadrilateral are diameters which means they are of length root 2. And besides, these two angles are the same. They are, all 40, they are both 45 degrees. So we know that if we have a quadrilateral with all four sides to be equal and some of the angles to be a, a right angle, then that must be a square. So that means we can say that the required area is four semicircles and then plus the square in the middle. And the square in the middle is actually having side length root two because um, it's actually um, the distance between one zero and zero one. So that means the answer after calculating is pi plus two. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.